Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the face key editor in Crazy Talk Animator 3. So the face key editor is basically used to create a keyframe animation between uh, to blend between facial expressions, so more like the traditional approach uh, to facial animation. So let's get right into it. With your character selected, you can find the facial key editor over here. You can also use the control K hotkey, and that'll bring up your face key editor panel. So there's a number of different facial features here that you can select similar to the facial puppet tool. Let's take a look at what each one each one of them does here. So there's the forward one or the uh, forehead uh, forward forehead one right here. If we click and drag that, once it's selected, if we click and drag it, you can see we can modify the inner part of our eyebrow right there. So we can uh, manipulate that individually, and we can deselect that and uh, go back to default key, which will bring our characters uh, all the facial features back to the default there. And if we have accidentally selected something, we can go here to clear selection as well. All right, and this one here will uh, move each eyebrow, uh, all the, both eyebrows together rather. Okay, so you move, use that to uh, have a suggestible type of uh, eyebrow movement. And uh, you can also move each in individual eyebrow as well, uh, just like that. And beyond that, there's this one right here, which you can use to have your character's eyes close shut like that. And we'll just use the default key to reset back to normal there. Uh, let's clear the selection there. And under the eyebrows, we have these upper eyelid ones you can use to uh, have your character uh, blink as well. And this is uh, you can also use these ones to uh, have your character blink or wink like this. All right. And next up is the eyeballs. So if we select the eyeballs, we can move those individually, or we can move also move them together. Once you click and select them, you can click and drag and move them together like this. And if you use these options here, the eye scale options, if you click and drag after you select those, it'll enlarge or decrease the size of your character's pupils. So you can get, whoa, some effect like that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and refresh these and just go back to default key here. And below the eyeballs are these lower eyelids you can use to click and drag and kind of make your character a little bit happier looking by moving those up just like that. And uh, then we also have the nose flanks, which can be used to kind of bring the nose up like that, uh, one by one or individually again, just like this. And beyond that, we also have the cheeks. Pretty self-explanatory. That'll have your character smile or frown. And you can do uh, each side individually as well. And then this one right here in the middle, you can have your character smile in various ways. You can move this one to the side as well if you use this uh, mouth section right here. Uh, and there's the lips as well. So the lips, we can thin the lips or expand the lips just like this. You can see the result right there. And uh, let's just go back to default key here. And this one finally will open your character's jaw. So if we click that one and drag it down, we can have him drop his jaw in shock. Even though he doesn't really have much physical jaw movement, the uh, sprite will change so you can have your character drop his jaw like that. All right, so that's basically, that's what each individual feature does there. We also have the head rotation as well. There's 3D rotation. Now, if you select this one, you have to click anywhere in the outer white section right here. Click and drag to move your head like this. And this one here is head rotate. So if you use head rotate, it'll just go from side to side, just like that. And you can combine these two as well. All right, and get the result like this. So nice head rotation like that. Let's go back to default key again. And let's move on to animating using these uh, using the face key editor. So to animate, I'm actually going to use the templates over here. So there's a number of different templates that you can use. Uh, I tend to use these quite often. You can see there's happy. Uh, under the expression style, you have a drop down menu. There's a bunch of happy ones right here. And everything from happy to uh, fear. And you can use these as templates to basically animate between each other, between them. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, distrust and uh, others and a whole bunch of ones that you can explore on your own time. But let's take a look at a couple of these first. Uh, so we're just going to use a happy one like this, happy01, very uh, generic happy expression. And let's press F3 and go into the timeline. So once we've selected one of these templates, what will happen is in the facial clip section, if we twirl this down a little bit, there will be keyframes for head, face, and eye. And you can see those keyframes right there. Uh, we generated those using the happy expression. If we go down a little bit to, they say, frame uh, 20 or something like that, and we put in another expression, like happy06, you can see it'll create another keyframe right there 
and the face track. And it'll also expand the clip under facial clip. And you can see now it'll blend nicely between those two facial expressions, just like this. We can also use, uh, you know, blend between other expressions as well. Let's go down, down, down to like 40, for example, and choose something like the uh, fear expression, All right? So we have a nice blend in these, between these two keyframes from happiness to fear, all right? So here he said it's Friday, and then he realizes, oh, he has to work on Saturday, okay? So uh, really easy and quick, quick way to animate between these uh, different keyframes, just using these expressions. In addition to uh, blending the expressions, you can also add in individual parts as well. So let's go to, for example, right here, where we have this middle keyframe. Let's go back to the facial tab and let's choose an individual facial part, or rather, uh, you deselect those first and take the eyebrow by itself and kind of bring the eyebrow down. So then from this point to this point, we'll have that one eyebrow move up and the other one go down, just like that. And then from here, they'll both go back to normal. Okay? So that's one way you can, you know, just add in uh, separate facial features there as well. So let's take a look now at blending expressions with lip sync. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to frame one. I'm going to right click my character and select remove object animation. And that'll get rid of all the keyframes and everything like that. You can also select the facial clip and just delete it. And we can maybe do that a little bit later. But let's close this down and let's add in some lip sync animation first. I'm going to actually use my own voice for this because we're going to kind of blend between a, a happy expression or a sad expression rather and a happy expression. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a script here. And I'm going to record my own voice and just press the record button. I'm going to say something like, uh, taxes make me sad, but uh, pizza makes me happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and record that. Taxes make me sad, but pizza makes me happy. Okay, so let's press stop and you can play that back if you want. Taxes make me sad. All right, let's just stop that and press OK. Taxes make me sad, but pizza makes me happy. Okay, so we created a nice uh, script right there. And that uh, clip will appear in our voice clip track right there. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, blending between a couple of expressions here. Uh, we're saying obviously taxes make me sad at first. So we're going to start with a sad expression on our character's face. Let's start with a neutral expression actually first. And let's go down to like frame 10 or something like that. Tax. Or maybe we'll start off with a neutral expression here. We'll go to the face key editor and use a template. And right here under happy, we're going to create a neutral expression. Now keep in mind that each one of these has a level of expression, an expression strength. And we'll talk about that momentarily. But let's get into our blending first. So from this frame... Taxes make me sad. Okay, so when he's about to say sad right here, then we'll create another, we'll just press neutral again, and that'll create another neutral keyframe. So at the beginning, he's fairly neutral. Taxes make me sad. And so when he's saying sad, we want him to kind of blend into a sad expression. So let's go ahead and select a sad expression. We can use something like this. I think uh, I kind of like this one right here. And then we have taxes make me sad. So if we want to make it faster, then we can just click and drag this keyframe a little bit sooner. And that'll create a faster blend between these two expressions. This make me sad. Okay. And then if we want to extend this uh, to a for a longer period of time, then we can just go somewhere down here. But, 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 and saying, to what you're saying, but, we'll click sad again, and that'll extend this sad, the length of this sad expression. And then... But, when he's saying but, then we can go back to a neutral expression. Okay? But. And then we'll just extend the neutral expression right there. I'm going to create another uh, keyframe. Pizza. I say pizza. And then we can actually use a happy one right here. Okay, so pizza makes me happy. And we'll use another happy over here. Makes me happy. happy, happy, happy. As he's saying happy, we'll use a stronger happy. Okay? Something like this one, happy three, or uh, happy three looks pretty good, okay? Uh, uh, makes me happy. All right. And that's basically blending between the expressions over top of a lip sync. So let's go ahead and play that back. Taxes make me sad, but pizza makes me happy. All right. 
Now you may have noticed aside from the uh, facial track right here, there's also a track for head. Oops, let's just zoom out a little bit or zoom in a little bit there rather. There's also a track for head and a track for eyes as well. And those tracks correspond to the separate eyes and head movement uh, options over here. So let's go ahead and clear the selection right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in some head and eye movement as well. So for the eyes, I'm only going to do some eye scaling. So when he says pizza, but pizza, when he's saying pizza, what we're going to do is we're going to scale up his eyes. So let's go right here. Just select both of the eyes, and we're going to use the eye scale options here as well. We're going to scale this up ever so slightly, okay, just a little bit, just like that. And it'll create a nice keyframe there, an eye keyframe in the eye track. And pizza. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to expand the eyes. We're going to make them a little bit larger as he's saying pizza, okay? He's saying pizza, pizza. And if we want to extend that, we can right click on that keyframe and copy it. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and paste it down here. So I'll say pizza. And then if we want the uh, eyes to go back to normal, we can take the original keyframe right here, copy that keyframe, and go down to this frame over here and paste it. So then from here to here, the eyes will go back to their normal size after you said pizza, okay? Pizza makes me happy. All right. And if we want to make that a little bit longer, we can take both these keyframes, move them down like this. Pizza makes me happy. Okay. Let's add some head movement in there as well. So what I'm going to do here is uh, clear the selection again. We're going to use head rotation and tilting. And so what are you saying? Taxes make me sad. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like add a little bit of rotation and make me sad. And probably about the same same timing as where he gets sad, sad, we're going to rotate his head downward like this. Okay. Taxes make me sad. And then we'll just copy that keyframe. And but, but, but where he's saying but, we'll paste it. And then here, but, but, we'll bring his head back up to normal like this. So now we have this. Taxes make me sad. But... But, but pizza, pizza, and then when he says pizza, pizza, what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, have him move pizza. his head up like this. Okay, like his eyes are full of wonderment and he's tilting his head upwards like that. Pizza, pizza makes me happy. All right. And we can extend that for as long as we want. Maybe somewhere like that. And then makes me happy. Maybe right here, we can just go ahead and use a default key okay to end off the uh animation so then what we have is something like this taxes make me sad but pizza makes me happy okay that's easily done just by you know blending the different keyframe animations together now if you want to get into even more detail on each individual facial feature then you can use the detail settings over here so let's take a look at something like this for example pizza where are you saying pizza pizza what I want to do here is we're going to select the face uh, keyframe right here and go to detailed settings. And in detailed settings, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You can change the expression. So right here, I believe this was like a neutral. Let's go to the one that's like a happy one right here. If we went to this happy keyframe right here, again, if you can remember, this was happy three template. We can adjust the level of expressiveness, take it back down to normal. So you can see that'll only adjust his eyes right there. We can also adjust the level of weight on the... Uh, eyes individually or the brows which in this case isn't going to do much but if we go to something like maybe which one has a lot of eyebrow movement like this one right here for example okay we can take that weight down on the eyebrows and the eyebrows will go down down to normal on this one okay like the sad one so you can do these individually um the nose on this one will have a, a large effect as well you can adjust the strength individually taking the expression down we'll give him back to a neutral expression okay so that sad one is a good example for that and aside from that, you can also do these uh, features individually. So as he was saying pizza, which was what pizza. I wanted, originally wanted to do here. Pizza. 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 Okay. What I wanted to do is raise the eyebrows a little bit. Okay. Uh, so here we can go, go ahead and choose brow outer raise like this. And we can kind of uh, drop them a little bit. Drop the inner right. So he's kind of just saying pizza. But pizza. Okay. Pizza. Keep in mind that from here to here, it's going to blend back to the original data, okay? So even though these are both uh, happy three uh, templates, 
This one here has the eyebrows down, and this one here doesn't. So if you want to extend that eyebrow down, you can just go ahead and right-click that keyframe, select Copy, and you can also uh, press Tab to go between keyframes. So if I select here and I press Tab, it'll toggle between all the keyframes on that track. I can also press Shift Tab to go backwards between all the keyframes, okay? So here I'll press Control V, and it'll give us the uh, pizza. pizza makes me happy. Okay, so we have uh -huh. that uh, those eyebrows down like that. And you can do all sorts of other stuff with the eyes. Uh, you can have the eyes squint, the nose uh, flank, raise, and everything like that. You should be familiar with all of these uh, different uh, facial features. This is where you can get into a lot more detail uh, with your character's facial animation. So if you have time, just go into here and you can uh, adjust all the subtleties of your facial animation and create some really uh, detailed uh, animation as a result. All right, so that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, make sure you check out our other uh, facial animation tutorials on uh, facial puppeting and lip sync and our YouTube channel, as well as our forums at forum.relusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.